Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to do number 116 on the FTC K-6 elementary practice test. It's a great problem for elementary school teachers to work through to get some practice on some core uh, math strategies uh, for teacher certification exams. This one is a number sense and operations word problem. It's a really good one to study. I want you to read it over and I want you to work through it first. So if you can pause it now, read it over and then I'll model how to uh, work through it. But try, try it on your own first. First thing I'm going to do, when I read this over, I always I want to visualize what's happening. So I'll read it over, and I'll try and identify the, the key images here to focus on. So a teacher wants to do small group projects in, in her classroom and needs to buy supplies. Each group will do the same project. What information does she need to determine the cost of the project supplies for the class? All right, so first image, small group projects. Um, all right, she's doing these small group projects. And I'm, I'm thinking that the, the students here are divided into groups. And she needs to buy supplies. So there's going to be this buying of supplies here is going to equal some sort of money. All right, each group will do the same project, fine. Uh, what information does she need to determine the cost of the pro project supplies? Well, I'm thinking this really means the total, the total cost here, right? So if I wanted to find out the total cost, the total cost, right, the total amount of money that she's going to spend is going to be equal to, wouldn't it make sense, the number of groups, right, times what? times, wouldn't that be the amount of money she spends per group? You know, this is um, the number of um, the amount she pays per group. If we knew this, we could find the total. For example, let's say we knew that this class was divided into 10 groups, 10 teachers, and that each group, the supplies for each one of the little groups was $10. And we could determine that the total cost that she's going to spend on this project would be 10 times 10. The total cost would be $100. Now, if I go back and I look at these uh, pieces of information, we've kind of identified already the parts that we need. But let's just clarify. Number one says number of students in the class. We don't really need to know the number of students in the class. We need to know the number of groups. Because each one of the groups are going to do the same project. And we're, we're, we're basing uh, the materials, um, we're buying materials for each group. So it doesn't matter if there were 100 students or 20 students. We need to know the, how that class is divided into to groups so we can get the number of groups and then multiply it by the cost per group. So this one is not necessary. Total cost of supplies for one project. Um, we're going to need to know that, right? That's going to be, you know... That's our $10 here. One project costs $10. You know, really important. It's important that we, we know that, you know, it's going to cost $10 for that one project. Number of groups. We're going to need to know that because we're going to take these two values, cost $10 times the number of groups, and that's going to get us the total uh, amount it's going to cost. Okay, team. Hope you found this video helpful. This is Chris Abram from GoMath. Have a great day. Take care. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.